Vacations are relaxing and we all need them every once in a while, but some vacation spots may not only be unrelaxing but are much deadlier than others. In this video, we count down six of the most deadly tourist destinations in the world. 6. Yosemite National Park's Half Dome The Half Dome rises 8,800 feet above sea level and 5,000 feet above Yosemite Valley. It is a Yosemite icon and a great challenge to many hikers. Today, thousands of people reach the summit, despite an 1865 report declaring that it was, quote, perfectly inaccessible, being probably the only one of the prominent points about the Yosemite which has never been, and never will be, trodden by human foot. Maybe this report had good reasons to mention this, because over 60 people have died on Half Dome, and the trail leading up to it. Hiking up Half Dome takes an entire day, and you would have to scale the last bit of the dome with the assistance of metal cables, and that's when accidents occur. In 2011, three hikers who decided to ignore the guardrails fell into Vernal Falls a 317-foot waterfall. A 26-year-old slipped on the cables and also fell to his death. Falling and drowning aren't the only dangers. There are also records of hikers being struck by lightning while attempting to make the climb. 5. Alnwick Alec Gardens in 1995, Jane Percy became the Duchess of Northumberland, a county in northeastern England that stretches to the border of Scotland. She decided to create a garden, and after visiting the infamous Medici Poison Garden and sitting through a Batman movie marathon, Poison Ivy apparently became her idol. The Duchess became infatuated with the idea of creating a garden of plants that could kill instead of heal, because regular good old beautiful safe gardens are just too boring. Jane Percy created Almwick Gardens, one of the most dangerous gardens gardens in the world. Because of the plant's dangerous qualities, visitors to the poison garden are prohibited from smelling, touching, or tasting any of the plants. Still, even with guidelines in place, visitors can fall victim to the plants. This past summer, seven people reportedly fainted from inhaling toxic fumes while walking through the garden. Today, the garden encompasses 14 acres and attracts over 600,000 visitors a year, making it one of North England's most popular tourist attractions. Four. Hawaii's Volcano Tours Most people visit Hawaii for its beautiful beaches and abundant sunshine, but there are actually many other things to do, like visiting hidden waterfalls or checking out active volcanoes. Many people have died visiting these volcanoes, some by doing stupid things like riding a bike down the volcano, others attributed to lava haze. The haze, which looks like a harmless white vapor cloud, is actually a deadly mix of hydrochloric acid, hydrogen sulfide, and carbon dioxide. This, in addition to scalding ocean water, and potential for flying rocks makes these volcanoes dangerous attractions that have claimed dozens of lives in the past decade. 3. Skellig Michael the Skellig Rocks, also known as Great Skellig and Little Skellig, are towering rugged sea rocks rising from the Atlantic Ocean. Located at the western edge of the European landmass, Skellig Michael was the chosen destination for a small group of ascetic monks who, in their pursuit of greater union with God, withdrew from civilization to this remote and inaccessible place. It was chosen by the monks because of its inaccessibility and difficult terrain, something that hasn't changed since its establishments sometime between the 6th and 8th centuries. There are 600 ancient steps that wind their way up the side of the mountain, and there are absolutely no safety features whatsoever. The stone stairs, more than 1,000 years old, are rough and uneven. Even getting to the island could be a challenge because of the high waves and choppy water. Sometimes it's even impossible for boats to land. Oh, and the area is also prone to falling rocks. 2. Praia de Boa Via Gem Praia Boa Viagem in Brazil is a beautiful 7-mile stretch of white sand beach, protected from strong surf and riptides by offshore reefs. It has warm, clear waters and is close to great nightlife and sharks. Between 1992 and 2012, there were 56 shark attacks at the beach. Although that might not seem too out of the ordinary, one-third of all attacks ended in fatality. The attacks mainly come from bull sharks because they tend to like the shallow coastal waters. One. The Colorado River Whitewater rafting is fun and exhilarating, but can also be very dangerous. The Colorado River in particular has a reputation of showing no mercy to rafters, due in large part to an increase in the melting snowpack from high up in Colorado's mountain ranges. High water advisories throughout the area were often issued. In 2007 alone, the river system saw 12 fatalities and 176 serious injuries. Of course, alcohol figures heavily into many accidents on the rivers, and with their classified 
5 rapids, faster than usual currents, and high running waters, it all adds up to making 2014 one of the deadliest years ever on the river system. During the first 7 months of 2014, 15 deaths occurred on the waterways. So the takeaway from this video is, in case you didn't know already, stay away from shark infested waters, don't ride a bike down a volcano, watch your step, and of course don't put random plants in your mouth. Have you been to one of these places before? Leave a comment and make sure to like and subscribe. See you guys next time!